Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2023 Infiniti QX50, and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front panel, and this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way we change the appearance of the front grille. If you like the product, the link for the product will be down below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and just start removing any contaminants that the panel may have. And then once you're done cleaning the panel, make sure that everything's completely dry as well. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the panel. Clean everywhere and that everything's completely dry. Okay, so we're going to start out by installing the piece that covers this section here of the grill. So just place the film down. That way you can focus on one area first and then just work your way to the rest of the film. So carefully lift it and align it to this curve here. So tack it down on the top. And as you're tacking down, make sure everything stays aligned following the design. Place it down and just continue on. You're probably going to continue lifting and adjusting the film because of the type of curve that this vehicle comes with. So just take your time when you're doing this installation since it is a whole piece. So just lift and tack down as you go. And make sure to always keep in mind that you need to cover the top and you need a little bit of material to cover the bottom section. So lift carefully and align it as you go. And do the same for this edge here. So finish it off, make sure you're aligned and just following the rest of the panel till you reach it up here. So everything should be tacked down. Like I said, if you need to lift it to readjust it, you can. It's just taking your time as you're tagging it down. So grab your squeegee, start tagging it down little by little. Secure the flat area first, that way we can work with the lower section afterwards. So I'll show you guys what I mean right now. Okay, so just continue where you left off, squeegee everything out. If you do happen to have fingers like these, just slowly tack them down at an angle until you reach it to the top edge. And then just continue on, finish off the rest, tack it down, squeegee, tack it down. Okay, now when it comes to bringing the film down, we recommend starting from the middle. And as you're bringing the film down, everything should slowly start coming down on each side. So if you bring it down, everything's gonna come down. And then slowly secure it underneath. Work from the middle first, tack everything down. Work your way to one side and then the other side. So just squeegee everything down. And when you arrive to the corner edge here, all you need to do is apply a little bit of heat to help release the tension that the film has here. And then we're able to tack it down around the curve. So you would grab your heat gun, hold the film, apply a little bit of heat. That way the film starts to lose the tension it has. And then slowly with your finger, guide it in order to tack it down. And you just repeat it until you finish tacking it down on the curve here. And now that we helped it tack down around the curve and you applied heat on this section of the panel underneath, just finish it off, bring everything down to cover everything underneath here. And then just finish off the top section here. Just make sure not to create any bubbles or crease the film and then just tack it down to the curve here. And then just apply heat to finish it off here. That way it stays tacked down. So you just need to take your time when you're installing it on the curve. It may be a little difficult, but just helping it tack down with heat and going section by section, and you should be good. And then the same steps that were done here, you would repeat it to the other curved edge. Okay, so once you finish installing the whole film to the grill, apply heat all over the film. That way that heat still starts activating faster. And then once you're done applying heat, then we can trim off any extra material that we have on the top sections or anywhere else on the edges here. So make sure everything stays tacked down, apply heat everywhere, and then we can trim off extra material. For this one, there is a gap between the grill and the chrome panel. 
So just insert your blade and trim off the extra material from there. And you just repeat it until you trim off all the extra material. So now we're moving on to this piece. So with this one, align it wherever you left off with the front piece that was installed. And just make sure you follow the design until you reach it to the top edge here. And in order to tuck in the film inside, we're going to have to fold it just a little bit, but not too much where you might accidentally crease it and just help it tuck in underneath. So take your time doing this. You don't want to accidentally crease the film. And once you have most of it in, we're going to need to apply heat around this curve. That way the film is able to tuck in underneath without creasing it. So apply a little bit of heat and slowly start tacking it inside. So lift it just a little bit. That way the film isn't touching the paint and it's giving you a hard time to tuck it in. And then just push it in with your squeegee. And now it should feel flush. No fingers, and you should be good, just like that. And with this one, you could tuck in a little bit of the material underneath the grill here. That way you don't have to trim off the extra material. So like that, tuck it in, and just do the same with the rest. And now you have full coverage here. And then just finish up with the top section here. So same process, you're going to need to apply a little bit of heat to release the tension up here. So apply a little bit. Let the film cool down and then slowly start helping it tack down. Just like this. And then just continue adding heat until you finish applying it. And once you finish tacking everything down, then we could trim off this excess material that we don't need. So with this one, there's a gap between the headlight and the actual grill. That's where you'll trim it off from there. So carefully remove it and then continue on here. There's a small gap here, so just trim it off, what we don't need. And the rest could go tucked in. And don't forget about this edge here, you could trim it off as well, since it's not needed. And then just tack it back inside. And it should curve in and that should be good. And now we move on to the top piece. And the same steps that were done for this side, repeat it to the other side that needs to be installed and then move on to the top piece. Okay, so now we're moving on to the top piece of the grill. So with this one, you can start wherever you would like on either end. Just keep in mind that wherever you start, you may encounter just a little bit of excess material on the other side, but that's perfectly fine since we want to have full coverage on this section here. So align it where you left off. Make sure you're covering everything here. You can give yourself a little bit of more extra material just so you can have more coverage on the curve, but you don't necessarily need it if you don't. Make sure you have full coverage here. So once this is secured, lift the film carefully and just align it, follow the path until you reach it to the other end. You can always readjust it and lift it if you like, just follow the path. And then like I said, you may need to lift it and readjust it again. You can, just make sure when you do it, lift it carefully so you won't crease the film. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee and just tack it down. Start from the middle and work your way out, removing any air that may be trapped underneath the film. And then we'll apply heat to tack down the film. And then once we're done with everything, we will trim off any material that we have as extra. So now help it tack down underneath here. If you do feel like there's a little bit too much tension, then apply heat. But if you don't need the heat, it should be fine. Same process, start from the middle and work your way out. Okay, once you finish tacking down everything and applying heat, now you can trim off any extra material that you may have on the top edge. If you do have any, there is a small gap in between the grill and this gasket located between it. 
Once you find that section, create the outline and then just trim off the material we don't need. And also on the curve here. And now we move on to post seating the entire time. So once you finish with the whole installation on the front panel, the last thing to do is to post heat the entire film. And for the post heating part, we're going to apply heat all over the grill evenly. That way the adhesive on the film is able to activate faster. And if there's still any film lifting anywhere on the panel, we can help it tack down by applying heat. So just take your time applying heat everywhere. And once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2023 Infinity QX50. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you're missing any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.